Hey guys, alright, just school kid here, and I'm just gonna be showing you guys today a tutorial on how to use Movie Box, uh, an app you get with Cydio. So first off, you're gonna have to have a jailbroken device, and if you do not, that's probably gonna be the first step. Uh, I will be making a video very soon now that I have my new camera on how to jailbreak that. So make sure to check that out once I get that up. But first, you wanna open up Cydia. Mine loaded very fast, and uh, if you don't have it, you wanna go to Manage Sources. And I think it all comes with it, but you want to use this source right here, Big Boss. And I will be putting the link in the descriptions, but if you can see that now, that's that's what it looks like. So then after you have that, you want to go to search, type in Movie Space Box, and it'll come up there. You just touch that. Up here in the right-hand corner where mine says Remove, it'll say um, Install, Confirm, and you want to do that. And so, yeah, and so once you have that, you want to go home. It'll have this little little app right here. Hey, let me show you. This little thing right here that I'm moving around. This. It's going to look like this. Movie box. So that's what that'll look like. And uh, yeah, and then once you have it like that, you're pretty much set. And so you just want to open up that app. Once you have it, wait for it to load up. It should look something like this. And then it'll have this. And it'll have a ton of movies on the front page. And this... This is very good, and so you can get you can like search for different movies. You can uh, TV shows; they have TV shows. My library, where your movies are stored, news. Whenever they get updates on new movies and TV shows, like a new episode, and this is where your movies go when they download is your uh, queue. So, so to show you how guys to get a movie, you'd go to movies, and let's say I want to get Wreck It Ralph. So you touch that movie; it'll come up with all the info here. It'll have a trailer at the bottom usually. And then it'll have these things. It'll say language. You pick your language. It'll say quality. 360p, 480p, and 720. And that's the amount of pixels it has. And the more pixels you get, the more megabytes it's going to take up. And when you do that, though, it will take up... Uh, it'll usually take longer to download. So this, so you just press download. Or you can press watch it now, depending on what you want to do. And it'll start to download. You can pause it anytime, play it anytime. And uh, you can wait and... It'll only work if you're in the app. I don't think it keeps downloading when you're outside. I think it usually just pauses it until you come back. But see, that already downloaded one megabyte. And uh, it goes up fairly quickly, but you might just want to see two megabytes. So yeah, it, it'll it count up pretty quickly, 1%. And so like, if you want to delete that, you press remove and yes. Then you can go back. And once it's done, it'll appear in your library. Like, see, I have Food Incorporated, Step Up Revolution, Jack Reacher, The Hobbit, Tom and Jerry, Red Dawn. And most of the time, you can get new movies before they're even out in theaters, like the, uh, I mean, DVD, like The Hobbit, I got that before it was on DVD, Rise of the Guardians, I have that, I got that before it was out on DVD, see, there's Avengers, Amazing Spider-Man, Twilight, there's even Slender Man, and uh, Life of Pi, see, so you can get a lot of these things before they usually come out, and you can actually just search things, and if they don't have it, well, then just keep checking daily on this news section, because they update it, uh, every every day for new movies and it'll say like added new movie updated the movie uh like the english version and so there's like episodes that they always add uh, or they updated it and so that's how you do that and another way thing you can do is a good thing to have with this is called ifile this program right here i'm waving around ifile this is a really good program that when you do it if you go to ifile and you go all the way back to your beginning. You can go to user, library, artworks. Let me do that again in case you guys didn't see that. You go all the way back, you go to user, library, and then find this artworks. Click on artworks. That's where your movies are. And once you have it there, see like this these are all my movies. It's not gonna say the name, but you you touch this little right arrow and it'll bring up this. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can press add to camera roll right there, all the way at the bottom, add to camera roll. And uh, you do that and it'll add it to your camera roll. So when you go to home, if you go to your photos and to camera roll, see I have 11 movies there and with some other videos, see? So I have 11 movies and you can actually just watch the movies right there and so that's I think that's pretty cool 
and uh, that's basically it. I can't really think of anything else. So yeah, just make sure you have um, Movie Box. iFile really helps if you want to watch it anytime you want, because I think Movie Box has to have an internet connection. And uh, yeah, so I'll be posting more videos later. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. See you.